to call Sawyer County Public Works Committee meeting to order. <clears throat> Ask the clerk to take a roll, please. Ron Kinsley? Here. Mark Helwig? Here. Ed Peters? Here. Dale Olson? Here. Brian Bizonette? Here. One second, I said it needed again. Can you hear, you can hear us online, Brian? Yes, I can. Okay, thanks. Thank you, Brian. Uh, certification in compliance with local meeting law. The meeting has been noticed to the public and news media as required by section 19.84 of the Wisconsin statute. Thank you. Number four, the meeting agenda the agenda is set for us. Number five, public comments. Anybody have any public comment? Anybody else? There's not. Okay. Number six, consideration approved the minutes of the previous meetings. First, the Lord April 14th public first meeting. Second. Second. Motion by Mr. Helwig, second by Mr. Wilson to approve. Any discussion? Hearing none, all in favor of the motion? Aye. 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 Opposed? Motion carries. Thank you. Special meeting we had April 28th. Motion. Motion by Mr. Peter, second by Mr. Helwig to approve. Any discussion? Hearing none, all in favor of the motion? Aye. Opposed? Motion carries. Thank you. Number seven, Sawyer County Airport Report. Derek, are you on? Yes. Can you hear me? Yes, we can. Excellent. Any questions on my report? What stands out do you want to tell us about? Well, we're going to be going into construction mode once again out at the airport. That starts in less than two weeks. Uh, it's going to be a really nice project to have done. It's going to really improve the airport in a lot of ways. And everyone knows what's going to happen and how we're going to do it. And some folks are going to be inconvenienced, but I would... Be very surprised if anyone made their complaints to this board. I think we've given lots of notice for everyone, and and uh, ultimately we're improving the airport, so it's a good thing all around. Good, Mr. Chairman. Yes, uh, Mr. Leslie. Uh, last month I broached the fact that there is a zone district that's in 3D for the space nearby and above the airport. Um, I believe your folks saw that plan 10 or 15 years ago, but that may be something that you want to keep at the airport just to, to look at once in a while in case we get some big white pines or something that are coming up uh, that need to be trimmed on neighboring properties or something. You know, the, the, the neighboring properties really should be made aware of that. That's not your job, but, uh, uh, you know, every airport has that. So they have it in the zoning office. Well, and as it brings up a really good point, too. It's not something this board hears about frequently, but the uh, <clears throat> maintaining the approaches at the airport is a requirement by Sawyer County uh, as part of our federal grants and assurances. And... Um, uh, there's a lot of trees uh, near the airport that are actually already impediments to our approaches, which brings our minimums up. Essentially, that just means that uh, the decision altitude for an airplane flying in cloudy conditions can't go lower than a certain altitude above the ground without seeing the ground first. Um, so just good education for the board, period. Uh, one of these trees in particular it has an eagle's nest on it, and its roots uh, extend out into the Namakagan River. <laughs> so um, we definitely do have some difficulties uh, with white pines in particular because they get to be a couple hundred feet tall. But uh, every so many years, the FAA brings a highly specialized airplane in, and they actually have uh, the technology in that airplane to be able to identify the exact latitude and longitude of trees that are impediments into our approaches. So, um, you know, there's a, there's a lot that goes into that, but I'll certainly look into that and, and take it under consideration and advisement. Perfect, thank you. Yep. Does anybody have any questions for Derek regarding his report? Hearing none, we'll move to letter B this afternoon. I got an email from Derek regarding, there's some more questions regarding these uh, easements. 
and for that, that they be paying until next month to give them further time to look into them. Council. Motion by Mr. Wolf, second by Mr. Peters to table letter B. We'll put on the agenda again for next month. Hopefully, they're, they're ready for that. Any discussion? Hearing none, all in favor of the motion? Aye. 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 Opposed? Motion carries. Thank you. Letter C, reports and items which receive spending and remaining. There. Well, I always just, and, and Lynn brought this up too, wondering if we ever want to put attachments on this item. I usually just add it in on my airport report. Um, Tom and I have had some discussions, uh, you know, trying to figure out how we budget for things moving into the future. There's a couple items on there that are going to be really expensive that we don't budget for currently and haven't really came up with a plan. So uh, I think that when we're going to start talking about our 2022 budget, uh, there's going to have to be some discussions about some of the more expensive airport related projects coming up in the near future. And I know that the funding is short, it seems like everywhere. So theorizing how we're going to afford to do some of those things is going to be a, a task. Thank you. Moving forward, letter D, quick thing D, is that ready to go? That one can get approved for tonight. That was approved at the town board meeting um, last month, but we weren't able, uh, Lynn may be able to uh, elaborate. I don't think we were able to get it in in compliance with the posting of the agenda. Yes, I believe it was a timing thing to get on, but I believe it was Town Haver approved. Is that right? Town Haver approved. If Town Haver approved, I would certainly make a motion for the town to approve. Motion by Mr. Olson, second by Mr. Howard to approve the quick claim deed for both Airport Road. Any discussion? Hearing that, all in favor of the motion? Aye. Aye. Opposed? Motion carries. Thank you. Any other questions for Derek? Hearing none. Thank you, Derek. Thank you, folks. Number eight, Highway Commissioner's report. Okay, just a few updates on the report. So we finished um, the mastic seal for the state. Um, they had it rented through month or through Tuesday. So today was our first day on the county. Uh, we started on double end. Other highways we're going to do while we have it one month is uh, County Road F, County Road M. We had done County Road M, but we we uh, stopped at the south end. We're going to finish that up. And we're going to work on W until our time runs out. Um, uh, as far as paving schedule. So we have that rental to June 12th. Mm -hmm. We are paving, we're going to be paving probably late July or early August when we hope to start. Uh, and talk about recruitment for seasonal help. Uh, I just got a phone call uh, on my way to the meeting that we hired a second flagger, which is good. And it's someone I'm sure you know, Ron, from the area. But anyway, um, mm -hmm. there are, I think they're college students, so they're going to, we're going to come in uh, next Monday. I'm going to do flagger training for all our seasonal help and our three people that are new hires that didn't have it. So um, did receive a resignation notice from an employee. Um, I put the job order in with Tom, and he's approved it already. We're beginning recruitment for that position. And that's a driver operator out of the Radisson reporting shop. Um, I think that's all I have. Uh, just a side note on the COVID, um, with the resignation of uh, the one employee, it actually raises, I have 91% of our employees at the highway department have received their second COVID vaccine. And by this Friday, it'll be 14 days for, from the last person. So a pretty good participation out there. I was really, really happy with that. Well, the letter D, A to D, D to D. He's got a phone call from the guy who resigned. Maybe he changed his mind. <laughs> Maybe he's listening. <laughs> um, I don't have, we don't have an overtime or funds balance report. Do you have, did you get anything? No. 
I, I wanted to talk to and Tom. I didn't get a chance. I did I came up here earlier. Really, I went down there. I see you had the door closed and it wasn't going to bug you. But I wanted to talk to you about the overtime report and what the value of that is to this committee. Um, it was placed on a previous member years ago on the overtime report. And I mean, the overtime, you know, it's based on where we get storms, whatever, and with our comp time. The report for this month showed that we had negative seventeen hundred dollars worth of overtime of, of overtime for the month. That's because they turn it into comp time. They're allowed to bank eighty hours, you know, annually. So it's kind of a deceptive report, but is there value in continuing it? I remember that board member asked you to do that. Yeah, I never agreed with it, but I did it because um yeah, that's what I do. It means nothing to me. Yeah, I did. I've never, you guys, to be honest with you, I don't look at it myself. I mean, what, what do you do? You have overtime, you have overtime. You know, the report for this month is going to show we had overtime. We worked two Fridays. We worked for the DOT. They picked up every penny of it. You know, I guess the only thing I would say is that things, in your opinion, are getting way out of line for some odd reason to bring it to our attention rather than that. Yeah. But we don't, yeah, that's not the operation of our business. We don't we don't do overtime. You know, that was an exception with the rental kettle, what they wanted it done. We're not doing it on the county level. We're not working Fridays with the kettle. Um, we go out when we plow snow when we have to do maintenance. We don't go out just to, to get overtime. I think if you voted, if you voted, you know. I, I guess Tom, you and I can discuss it further. But. Um, anyway, what, right. what was the original disposition of why it had to be on there? Was it a motion for the committee? No, it was just a suggestion when we did it. Okay. I, I don't know what the reasoning was. And like I said, I don't think a lot of people have paid attention to it because I, I edited it out one time. And uh, this negative thing has only happened three times since we've been doing it. And the last time we handed it out, there was negative. No one even said a word about it. Mm -hmm. You know. And we guys remember this year we had it in early on in the year. And now it surfaced again for this month. Um, so anyway, Tom and I can discuss it. If the committee wants us to continue, we'll continue it. But just so everyone knows that, that you know it's a little deceptive. And also because of the timing, Lynn, we're going to always going to be one month late. So um, it just we can't get the report done in a timely manner to be distributed with all the other. DWC influence. Thank you. And always, you guys did a great job. Let's go to letter D, 18 to be wrote. Please, double G. Okay. Mr. Peters mentioned something last month or the month before about double G. And uh, what is he talking about? Well, I went looking into it and uh, Town of Draper years ago approved double G and as it opened and signed all the way to the Ashland County line. It's part of the town's ordinance. So um, I think we should, the committee should consider approval of that. It's been in operations that's been signed. Ed, help me out. How many years? So at least, at least seven years. I, I drove the route the other day and I did not see a in my travels. It was well, very if low you, volume. If you, if you come there during uh, during uh, bear season, you'll see that. Yeah, I mean it's a it's an extremely low volume road, pretty straight. I mean, excellent flight distance on it. It is. I don't see any issues. I would recommend that the committee consider approval. So, is there any documentation you need, like you've done in the past? Well, since it's already approved, I mean they've been using it for years. They've right. Had signs up and everything, correct? Right. They've had it signed and everything. So I guess we, we, we just we need to make it official. Right. To make it official. Process. And we always say we have to get approval from the town first. And the town did approve it seven right. years ago. Well, so we just had a little motion. seven year gap in between mm -hmm. the process. So. I would make a motion to approve the GG approved rational. Um, and the other another reason for that. Was that when it used to be that Ashland County was not open on GG, 
and they opened it all the way. So it's an open road all the way up to Panama. Well, I try to do anything I can to irritate Mr. Morotek. I think in this case, it would be appropriate. Just to irritate to irritate. Just a moment, gentlemen. We have a motion on Mr. Howie, second Mr. Peter. It's open for discussion. That was it. Mr. Morotek. We're just no answer. We're supportive of it. Want to get it cleaned up and get it done properly. So any of the paperwork, well, I'll sign off the period like we have in the past. Indeed. Yeah. And we'll get we'll get that taken care of and make it proper. And then just a heads up for next month, Town of Bass Lake called me on Tuesday morning. They approved two routes, uh, which um, some of us, I know Don had given me the heads up on it, County Road K and County Road Double K. Um, we've got County Road K open and ready to grindstone landing road. Double K. And then Double K, but we're not going past Double K. We're not going out to 27 because I don't want that dead ending on a, an unknown highway that the DOT do would never approve and and so um, they were okay with that recommendation that's what the board asked on Monday night yes Monday night so that'll be that'll be coming and Lynn just so you know I I cheered on Don a little bit I said I'm not even gonna put it to an agenda item to put it up to Tom and Ron unless he has all his supporting documentation <laughs> Meaning the maps, et cetera. So, all the questions, Mr. Chairman. We have a motion by Mr. Nelly, second by Mr. Peters. All in favor of the motion? Aye. 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 Opposed? Motion carried. Thank you. Thank you, Mr. Gipper. Anything else going on? Oh, tell Brian I'll make sure else you'll need a temple if he's in the loop on this for our K and double K approval. You hear that, Brian? Yeah, thank you, Gary. Okay, thank you. Number nine, maintenance report. Tim, what stands out that we need to know about? Well, um, the other thing I was gonna I was gonna highlight, uh, Ron, just because you and I talked about it after the last meeting, uh, and that's on the the two new water heaters that we installed in the 06 jail. Because um, um, Ron had asked me about, you know, have we looked into on-demand water heaters then. And and the reason we we didn't in the, in the jail setting is because um, that's a continual loop through the jail and then on-demand water heaters don't want to stay, they, they stay operating in that kind of condition. So we, so we uh, yeah, these are two 119 gallon water heaters. So it gives us a, a pool of water to keep the, the whole jail set aside. So uh, other than that, um uh you know I appreciated uh thank Mike Keith and and Derek for helping us come up with you know the budget uh the funding source to be able to put a, a storage ship that will hold that uh mower out there out of the weather because you know how many years we have to have that before there's no we're allowed to replace it. So at least get I think we're now probably three, four weeks out of Getting the storage shed out there, but then at least it'll help us take care of equipment out there. So, other than that, unless anybody had any questions, that's what I have report wise. Good. Um, since we're like, you know, public works, we deal with uh, uh, building and stuff. I was always just, I had this question in the past, never brought it up. Like any of the remodeling that happens within the courthouse, um, I don't know, is it anybody who, that's not something that we really need to get into. We just, oh, okay. I don't think we have too much of the remodeling along the state inside the structural walls. Unless someone else has an opinion, that's all I have to say. Okay. Yeah, there is some remodeling taking place, like in offices for yeah. efficiency of operation wise, like move a desk here and there, and uh, that sort of thing, but not structural changes. Okay. Yes. Just you know, it's it's always kind of been one of those things that sticks in my craw. I I absolutely agree. You should have a shed for the All my equipment is in a is kept in in stored inside. And uh, you know, I can't believe we can't find one someplace 
to get the foresters' trucks under their roofs so they're not shoveling out the back of the pickup trucks with the paint in there and all that stuff. The, the zoning and conservation and even is it worth it for us to be paying public health nurses to be out, you know, scraping their windshields and and uh, stuff. I mean, you guys have been super about it, but vehicles just last so much better when they're stored inside, at least under our roof, even if it's not heated. I mean, we, we looked at uh, shed roofs and it turned out that it was actually cheaper to have four walls than it was to have a shed roof because of the lift and wind. But uh, at some point in time, it sure would be nice to do that. Uh, have all of our very expensive vehicles and equipment outside for thievery, vandalism, weather, the whole bit. If we can park them, we can store them. I was blown away when I actually, all those vehicles like were like there. Uh, oh my goodness, we have a lot of vehicles, you know, like sedans or whatever. And trucks. Yeah. The, a lot of the trucks aren't here now because of the, the foresters staying home and things of that nature, but uh, mm. uh, not staying home, but working out in houses. Uh, and, but yeah, I mean, that's, Anybody bought a new vehicle lately? <laughs> they are not cheap. That's all. Okay. Just something to keep in mind. Where do we store the front end loader that we use to follow those here? That actually stays outside. That uh, we uh, um, right now it's out in the airport. Then uh, once the, you know here I got a I got a note in the next couple of weeks that it'll, it'll come back up to the shop here. And it stays out back and we burn it every so often just to make sure we don't get out run on it. Thank you. Any other questions for Jim? Hearing none, thank you. Yeah. Number 10, courthouse remodel project update. <clears throat> Last Friday, we put together an ad hoc committee. Last Friday, we interviewed four companies to hire the construction manager. It was very interesting. And um, we kept a scorecard to grade these four companies. I don't want to tell you who the four companies are, but I got a reason because I can't remember. Carlson Anderson Construction Company, Market and Johnson, Meyer Construction Company, and Cheer Construction. Um, we interviewed Meyer Construction first. And then we interviewed Shear Construction, Carlson Anderson, and then Mark Johnson. And the committee consists of Mr. Huff, Mr. Queen Children, um, Mr. Bruce Paulson, Mr. Jim Slender, and myself. And I think we all picked the company of Meyer Construction above the rest. I was really surprised. When we did that, but I worked to the scorecard and that's all came up. Um, if you have questions, please ask. We're going to meet again on June 2nd. Right now, we made a recommendation to the Public Works that we hire the Meyer Construction Company, and then as it all comes out of this committee, we'll go to the full county board. And then on June 2nd, we review to make sure everything is in place for the contract. Questions? I had the wrong, uh, I didn't have the totals up there. I'm looking for the one that has the totals. I thought I saw the totals. Yeah, it wasn't the, the grand total. That was like an individual sheet. <laughs> I don't think she wanted to do it. No, we put a hell of a big number on that. <laughs> uh, Mr. Chairman, so an ad hoc committee has already come up with scores. We're looking for possible action tonight. I wasn't in the ad hoc committee, so I don't feel um, confident enough to vote. And if we have prices on there, shouldn't we be in closed session? No, we don't need to have a closed session. We can have an open session that's been discussed. 
because I was on the committee and I'm asking the committee to, to trust me with information I received and the rest of the people on that money to take what I bring to the mass and do it with me. Yes. Did Mr. Hoff have any, have any input parts uh, in like the scores at all? Mm -hmm. Sure. Yeah, each of us uh, mm -hmm. scored and, and listened in on all of the uh, presentations. Um, it was interesting in the sense that uh, a couple of the companies were much more prepared than the other two, um, had uh, information specific to uh, Sawyer County's project and how they would uh, lay things out, how they would uh, proceed with the construction, um, <coughs> aware of, of the um, you know, contentiousness of getting the second courtroom and aware of the public perception of, um, you know, the communication that will be needed for the public as we go along to ensure that, um, you know, things are properly communicated, especially with the closure of, of Fifth Street and traffic pattern changes and, and neighborhood noise and all of these things. They're, they're aware of all those and spoke to those things. Um, so very happy with uh, specifically Myron and their response uh, to our RFP. Um, and I think that they're going to be very, very good to work with. And I think they got a good handle on, on what the project is. They've worked with venture architects before, uh, got good communication between them. Um, so I think, I think we're getting started off on the right foot here. Um, as Mr. Kinsley noted, you know, the ad hoc committee is, is a, function of, of public works. As we move forward, uh, that ad hoc committee um, will monitor some of the contractual things, all of the uh, you know, building related things will come through this committee, uh, especially as it relates to the court design specifically. You know, the, the judge and the district court have uh, specific rules on how a courtroom should be laid out. So that will all come uh, forward. Um, to this committee. Obviously, the district court has to approve any uh, new construction or remodeling construction of court space. Um, so their recommendation that comes forward um, to you, you still have the prerogative of saying, you know, use pine, not mahogany, or, uh, you know, cost containment kind of things, uh, which, which both the construction manager and the architect are fully aware of. Uh, the budgetary constraints, but uh, I, I, like I said, I think we're getting off on the right foot with uh, Myron Construction uh, being our construction manager at risk. Mr. Hill. Two points for Mr. Hill. Uh, are you in agreement with our chair? Um, Myron? Every day I am. <laughs> Specifically with Myron Construction. Yes. Okay. And my second question. Um, Estimated time of when the dirt's going to fly. Uh, had a lot of discussion with them about the prices of materials and how that's going through the roof currently, and when the good time is to bid. Um, you know, I, I think they're thinking that the prices will stabilize. Um, you know, the further we get into this, um, so the bidding for that would probably take place. Um, after the first of the year with construction starting in the spring uh, to be completed before the judge takes the bench in um, 23. Um, so that's kind of the time frame that we've laid out in our RFP and that we're working towards. So the, there'll be more of a specific timeline. They lay out you know, the, the, all of the specifics on what needs to happen and when and, and keep track of those things, but they are aware of, of the need to have that facility completed before the uh, circuit court takes takes the bench. Yes. I would like to make a motion to approve Myron as our project manager. Construction manager. Construction manager. We'll second that. There's a motion from Mr. Hill and second by Mr. Peters to approve Myron as a construction manager. I'm going to add to that when we interview Myron they had their project manager, the person that would be in charge of the job at the interview. He said he would go around to all the neighboring places, buildings, 
and knock on their door and explain to them what was going on, what they would know about it prior. Mm -hmm. He also said that he would come to any meeting we asked him to come to, and they would give a briefing weekly or bi weekly. He'd be glad to come to the public affairs committee, he'd be glad to come to the town board meeting. That was the best that we found. Okay, I just I want to say rather than just sounding like a negative Nelly, the reason I can't vote for it is I didn't see prices. I didn't have these discussions. Do I have full confidence in you? Absolutely. But I can't vote for something that I know nothing about. Sure. Well, we'll try to educate you know, as we go along. Did Mr. Bissonnette have a question? Mr. Bissonnette, did you have a question? Yeah, I have a question. I just was wondering where is the where is the company from? Where are the, where is the company? They're based out of Wausau, I believe. Uh, but they do have I think they have an office in Eau Claire. At least they're in the state. Checking their references and they've got three other four references back in the one reference right here. So we have a motion and a second to approve. Uh, <coughs> Mr. Bissonnette, do you have a question? Can you hear us? You may have stepped away. Again, we have a motion and a second to approve. All in favor of the motion? Aye. 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 Opposed? Aye. And that's the vote for the Planning Board. The motion carried. Thank you. Any other questions regarding that? That's going to be a big project, and I'd like to share as much information as I can to the committee. Again, they, a lot of the things are going to be coming to the Public Works Committee as the building design is Future agenda items. Does there's always going to be the courtroom remodel update for quite some time. Mm -hmm. There's going to be more stuff about the airport continuing and next month perhaps we'll have something sometime. How are we doing on those um, leases? There are uh, new hangar leases uh, that are coming up for renewal, I think uh, September, October. So uh, probably late summer, we we'll see the first batch of those start coming through. Um, Derek would prefer that we wait until after his busy season and closer to the renewal date. Yeah, thank you. Any correspondence or reports on the other things for the matter? Carrying on the meeting is very Thank you, folks. Thank you for the time. <clears throat>